What's up, everyone? This is Tim from Tim Plays Game. Just got done watching the uh, Nintendo Direct uh, for today, and wow, I mean, <laughs> got a lot of good information. Uh, they did. Uh, they basically gave us what they promised: uh, information on Arms, uh, Splatoon 2, and uh, Nintendo Switch and 3DS titles that were coming out. Uh, basically, started out with uh, the 3DS titles. Um, I'm looking forward to Hey Pikmin, uh, Ever Oasis, Monster Hunter Stories. Those look good. Uh, I'm not really big into the Yokai Watch 2, but if you like that, they got uh, Psychic Specters coming out Fall 2017. Uh, Cold Sept Revolt, RPG Maker Fest, Metopia, they all look good. Uh, n again, not a big uh, fan of the uh, Fire Emblem franchise, but they got Echoes, Shadows of Valencia coming out. Um, also, uh, I think they were, yeah, the, earlier in the year they were talking about Kirby's uh, 25th anniversary. Uh, they got a. Uh, Team Kirby uh, Clash Deluxe on, on uh, Nintendo 3DS. You can download that right now. Uh, Kirby Blowout Blast is coming this summer, and we also ex and we're also uh, told to expect a new multiplayer action game, which is in development. And um, also, if you're a fan of the Box Boy series, Bye Bye Box Boy just came out also on uh, eShop. Um, also, they uh, had some news: uh, the Amiibos. Apparently, we're supposed to be getting uh, three new Legend of Zelda Amiibos. Thumbs up, and three uh, Smash Brothers Amiibos. Even more thumbs up. And they said July 21st when we can get those, so going to be looking forward to that. July 21st was uh, used a lot, actually, <laughs> as a release date. It's going to be a big day for Nintendo. Um, ARMS, this is one of the big things. They uh, they did a big, a nice introduction video to everything. Uh, we can uh, sh They showed us how you can customize the ARMS. Uh, you can unlock new ARMS through a minigame where you had to pay for it, but that's still cool. Uh... They also showed a new uh, new character, Min Min, who uh, uses ramen. <laughs> Her arms are ramen noodles. I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, she has like a dragon glove. That's pretty cool. Uh, they did a demo between Min Min and, and uh, Spring Man, so that's that was uh, that was a little entertaining. Uh, two on two battle mode. That I'm excited for because originally I thought this game was just two pe players max. You can have up to four players two on two, so that's gonna be cool. Uh, they gave a release date, June sixteenth, two thousand seventeen, when you can get arms. Big, I'm looking forward to that. That's two months away. I can wait that long. And they also said uh, a neon yellow Joy-Con. That's going to be cool. Uh, you can uh, get that the same day. Uh, for the Switch, they uh, talked about Mario Kart 8, like I speculated. Race and battle online, they confirmed that. Uh, battle mode switches uh, between modes um, at random times, which I thought that's going to keep it interesting. Uh, they're going to have in-game tournaments, another plus. And uh, that's coming out uh, April 28th, so we got like two less, a little less than three weeks. So definitely uh, going to be looking out for that. Ultra Street Fighter 2, they talked about. Minecraft with the Super Mario uh, mashup pack. Uh, you can get that May 11th. You can get uh, Ultra Street Fighter 2 May 26th. Uh, gonna like, I'm going to really want to see that. They got uh, more Neo Geo titles coming for the Switch. Sonic Forces Holiday 2017 with Sonic Mania coming in the summer. Uh, they got Project Mikuru, uh, that's a working title. Uh, it's going to have online play, and it's going to be available this summer. I'm, lo I'm uh, looking forward to that. Uh, Fate Extella, July 25th. That looked like that looked pretty cool. A lot of these games I'm not really familiar with. Um, Poyo Poyo, I'm not really familiar with, but it, they're doing like a Poyo Poyo Tetris. You can get the demo now, and it'll offer lessons because it, it does look pretty. It does look pretty complex. Uh, Disgaea 5 Complete. That's uh, The demo's coming soon, but it will be available May 23rd. Uh, Monopoly Switch. That looked interesting. That looked like something you can just uh, bring out, uh, let the whole family play. L uh, much easier than, a than the traditional Monopoly game, putting that together. Uh, they got a tabletop mode. Uh, l just uh, lays, You just lay that flat. You lay the screen flat and play off that. That's going to be d available this fall. Rayman Legends Definitive Edition. This I like. Solo t and tournament mode, local co-op, and it's going to be available 2017. They didn't really give a specific date. Cinemora X, uh, that's coming out summer 2017. That looked interesting. Um, Battle Chasers Night War is coming this summer. Uh, Payday 2, this was interesting. I didn't, I didn't really see the Switch uh, getting a lot of a uh, pretty. Uh, this is a pretty graphic title, Payday 2. Uh, it's got it's four players, and it's going to be coming out 2017. I didn't like how they weren't specific when it's coming out, when some of these games are coming out, but this looks pretty cool. I mean, if you can get uh, four uh, four people with the game, you know, sit down and play that. That's, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's basically robbing banks and collecting money, so if you're into that, uh, definitely go out and get that. 
Uh, Namco Museum. This I liked. Pac-Man, Galaga, Rolling Thunder. You got all your Na Namco classics. Uh, that's coming summer to the eShop. And then they also announced that they're uh, the standalone docks that you uh, get with your Switch. They're gonna be selling those selling those uh, May 19th. You can uh, also order them through the website through Nintendo's website. So if you want to like keep a uh, keep one in one place and keep another in another place, you can do that real easily. I don't see why you just wouldn't take the stand with you, but hey, that's me. Um, they also talked about the Splatoon US Inkling Open for the Wii U. Um, that's coming up soon. If you uh, if you knew if you and your friends are uh, still playing Splatoon and uh, you want to get in on that tournament, uh, the, I think one of the, the grand prizes is a trip to E3. So <laughs> definitely get in on that if you uh, want to get your ticket to E3. Uh, Splatoon 2. This is the big thing they were talking about. This is what they saved for last. Uh, they talked about a new mode called Salmon Run, where you collect power eggs, defeat chum, and collect eggs from them. Uh, they t there are some uh, boss salmon, apparently. Uh, uh, you can collect golden eggs from them. Uh, there's a function in there where you can use a lifesaver to uh, you, uh, have other teammates help you out if you're about to die, or I guess after you uh, get splatted. And apparently this is one way to collect rewards. thought that was pretty cool. Uh, they also talked about amiibo functionality for Splatoon 2. Um, they got uh, three new amiibos, a girl, uh, girl inkling, a boy inkling, and a squid inkling. Uh, that's coming out. Uh, you can use those uh, inkling, those inkling amiibos to uh, customize and save, uh, save the gear. You can take pictures with them. I thought that was kind of fun. The cool thing I liked is that you can get special gear from them. That's what I really wanted because uh, I mean, <laughs> when you uh, the, when you got the original uh, Splatoon with the amiibos, you got to uh, you got to uh, get uh, get gear from them uh, after completing certain uh, certain games in there, but. Uh, this is, I mean, they looked really cool, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be definitely uh, picking those up, especially when I get, uh, I'm, I'm getting Splatoon 2, and they also said that Splatoon 2 would be compatible with the previous uh, Splatoon amiibos. So if you have those, definitely use those. And finally, the release date, July 21st, with the amiibos. So July 21st is gonna be a big day for Nintendo. <laughs> but overall, I thought, you know, the Nintendo Direct it delivered exactly what they wanted. Uh, there was nothing really out of the blue, uh, if, unless you, I mean. A couple surprises were the Minecraft thing. Hey, Pikmin, I didn't see that coming. Another Monster Hunter game, uh, but it doesn't look as good as the other ones, but this it looked interesting. Uh, another Box Boy title. The uh, the Amiibo announcements, I always like those. I know there are a little, some people are over Amiibos. I still like them. Um, they did mention Mario Kart 8, which I was uh, happy for. Uh, more Neo Geo titles, definitely. Um, de you got to definitely give, out, uh, give something to the old school gamers. Uh... But overall, I mean, they, they delivered what they promised. Uh, I mean, I'm de I'm, they're definitely saving some stuff for E3, I, gu I guarantee you. So just got to wait and see on that. But other than that, this will definitely, <laughs> definitely get me through till then. So, uh, But I'll be definitely expecting more. Probably the next big Nintendo Direct will be E3 when they do their big uh, treehouse, uh, treehouse demonstration. They do the big... Uh, Big Nintendo Direct uh, announcing all kinds of titles, and I'm and you can expect some big surprises from there. But uh, I definitely want to hear what you thought of it. Uh, what do you think's coming to E3 this year? Uh, what do you think Nintendo still has in store, or just what do you think of uh, this Nintendo Direct in general? Uh, leave leave a leave a comment below. Uh, definitely, uh, if you haven't already, hit the, hit the like and the subscribe button. This is uh, Tim from Tim Plays a Game. Uh, this is I'm gonna be signing off, and good night.